There it is. Hey guys, welcome back. We're here with Justin Armbruster. He's kind of a success story for us. Um, last year at this time, he was about 79.82, and uh, was it just last night, basically, or a few nights ago? He's topping out at 89. He's sitting 85, 87. So some really good things. Um, you know, a portion of that might be growth, but I think a lot of that has to do with his usage on the harness and how it identifies movement. Okay, we're going to talk about heel connection here and just. What, what are the issues, right? A lot of pitchers are gonna get down slope and they're gonna land toe, and then to get their heel down, to get that strong, firm front side, they're gonna rotate to get it down. And we obviously know that's a wrong or a, or a movement deficiency. We wanna make sure we land into our heel strike and then rotate, right? Because it's kind of like the pole vaulter coming in and sticking the ball, the pole, so that he can vault properly. If he doesn't plant that firmly, or does what we just talked about, then we're gonna get too much um, front side drag, we're gonna drag our arms, just too many problems to talk about here. So let's just uh, watch arm Brewster here throw a little. Uh, if you do it wrong, okay, what's gonna happen is your back foot's gonna get ripped up, all right? If you do it wrong and you prematurely rotate, which would be a lack of connection of heels. So don't connect your heels and tell me what you feel. Go ahead, don't connect them and go ahead and throw. Okay, you can see the front side pulling already. And then when the front side goes, the top half goes. And we, we see this everywhere, keep going. Just uh, keep going while I'm talking. We see this everywhere across America, right? At the big league level, as well as at the youth level. That back side um, is getting ripped up right now. You feel that? Yeah. Right, okay. Go ahead and one more. Front side pull, there's no heel connection there. Let's go one more and let's focus in on the front heel here. Go ahead. And watch the timing on this. You're gonna see the toe and then he's gonna rotate. We can't have that. You guys already see that, obviously, okay? So, you obviously feel happy when you're throwing that way, right? But uh, now do it the right way, okay? And one of the things that you can do is really stomp when you land. So down, you know, if you're outside, you can really, to where you feel that dirt really coming into your heel, into the cleats, or if you're on something like this, and that's why we have the mats here so they can hear that timing mechanism, right? So go ahead and do it correctly. I'll try to see if you can stomp and then throw. See how late it is, right? And then obviously we saw the plane and everything change. Go ahead again. And that was still a little early, but go ahead and stomp and connect your heels and then rotate. There it is, all right? A little early, right? You feel that? Okay. And did you feel your back heel come up? Not as much. Okay, not as much, okay? One more time here, okay? Give us a good one here. There it is, okay? Now go ahead and put it together. And obviously, we're, you know, we're, we're always going to leak a little velocity. No one's perfect in their movement, but this is how it should look. Watch how it connects, how he stays with his hips straight, lands, and then rotates. And we're done. That's how you get the 89 from 79 to 82, about six to eight months later. Okay.